Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. You can use the eMotion LV1 with an external controller that uses Mackie Control Protocol. This lesson will teach you how to set it up. In the next lesson, you'll see how to use it. Control protocols are assigned and removed in the control rack of the System Inventory page. Choose the Mackie protocol from the drop-down menu. Click on the gear button to open the Mackie control panel. This panel controls one or two devices. By default, device 1 controls channels 1 through 8 and device 2 channels 9 through 16. Select a Mackie protocol input and output for each device. The Faders drop-down menu establishes the relationship between the controller and the two mixer windows. There are three control surface modes that set the rules of layer selection. In the Follow Software Mixer 1 window mode, the controller is mapped to the layer that the Mixer 1 window is addressing. There's a direct link between the remote and the LV1. A channel strip changes mapping when a layer changes. The names of the channels in the selected Mixer 1 layer are displayed on the controller's channel text strips. In this mode, the Mixer 2 window is independent of the controller. The Follow Software Mixer 2 window mode is identical to the Follow Software Mixer 1 window mode, except that the roles of Mixer 1 and Mixer 2 are reversed. The controller is synced with Mixer 2 and is independent of Mixer 1. In the standalone mode, there's no correlation between the layer selected by the controller and the layer selected on screen in the mixer window. In this mode, you can access layers and control faders from either location. When the mixer is in the sends on faders mode, the channel faders control the aux sends. Select follow aux sends flip to control the sends from the controller's faders. In this mode, the eMotion LV1 master fader controls the output of the selected aux channel. Follow aux master flip maps this function to the controller's master fader. Learn about sends on faders in lesson 4.9. The controller's master fader can be mapped to the mixer's master fader or to any channel, bus, or link. Use the Master 1 drop-down menu to assign it. Mute groups to function select 1 through 8. This maps the mixer's mute group recall buttons to the controller's 8 function buttons. The mixer has 8 user-assignable keys that can trigger many mixer actions. These actions are assigned in the UI settings page. User assignable keys can be mapped to the controller's global view buttons for quick access. When jog wheel adjust selected controls is on, any selected control in the mixer is automatically mapped to the controller's jog wheel. There are tablet applications that emulate controllers using Mackie Control Protocol. These can be configured to work with eMotion LV1 over Wi-Fi or USB. Refer to the application's user guide to learn how to create a virtual MIDI device that will be available in the MIDI Devices menu. In this lesson, you learned how to configure a Mackie Control Protocol device to control mixer functions. Next, you'll learn how to use the protocol to control the mixer externally. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.